Las Vegas, a mirage in the desert, awake night and day, the entertainment capital of the world. Guarded by a sphinx that stretches its paws out toward the strip, the pyramid looms above the desert paradise, a visit to ancient Egypt, the Luxor Hotel. Even this modern casino is decorated in Egyptian style. The famous architect, Veldon Simpson, had $400 million at his disposal. In just 18 months, 6,000 workers built this massive complex. Each one of its statues, ornaments and hieroglyphics are authentic reproductions of their original Egyptian counterparts. The MGM Lion guards one of the largest hotels in the world with over 5,000 rooms The City of Entertainment, the name given to this resort complex after its last renovation. Each step taken is entertainment Hollywood style and the casino with its hundreds of gambling machines is also irresistible. Even its cafe has been transformed into a meeting place in the middle of a tropical forest. Trees with twisting branches, climbing plants and exotic animals surround the visitor. The multimillionaire Kirk Kerkorian paid billions of dollars for this vast world of adventure which comprises a theme park that covers more than 134,000 square meters. Beyond the facade of a castle of the Middle Ages is the Excalibur with over 4,000 rooms. Named after the legendary magic sword that was embedded in the stone, only the legendary future ruler of England, King Arthur, was able to withdraw it. The White Castle is his kingdom, and here, Kitch reigns supreme. Even in the casino, the visitor is taken back to the Middle Ages. A double looping, screeching roller coaster whirls above the heads of shrieking onlookers and over the residential quarters of New York. New York's skyline dominates the scene, particularly the Statue of Liberty. But it's difficult to believe that this is the facade of a castle. High above the strip, sloping coaches move up and down at high speed. The casino can be entered by crossing the Brooklyn Bridge, and even New York's harbor with its colorful water-spouting ships can pass by unnoticed. Even the huge casino area gives the impression 
that it's in New York. Everywhere there are ingenious optical perspectives and sparkling decorations. But as soon as the visitor strolls through the nightlife of the Big Apple, the mood is truly set. Whether Greenwich Village or steaming water hydrants, it all seems to be amazingly real. Inside this world of adventure, entire sections of numerous cities are on view. Thus the visitor can experience a little of each in just a few minutes. Caesar's Palace, one of the most exclusive hotels in Las Vegas. Back to the times of ancient Rome, marble and gold with no expense spared. Magnificent arcades surround the palace that is flanked by elegant statues and tiny fountains. Passing shops, visitors stroll over cobblestones to the Forum, just as did the Romans. The shops here are among the most elegant and unique in the USA. And something amazing takes place close by. At half-hourly intervals, heaven changes from night to day. A land of Greek and Roman fantasy waits to be discovered by as many visitors as possible. A pseudo-antique figurine surrounds the large Atlantis fountain, from which, each hour, gods rise up and symbolize a fight between good and evil, between fire and water. The Bellagio is a return to the exclusive nature of the casino hotels of the past. Here, luxury is at its zenith. An investment of $1.8 billion speaks for itself. Fantastic interior design and elitist shopping streets add the finishing touch to Italian elegance. Extraordinary choreography unites both music and water fountains in movement. The resulting performance is spectacular in its effect. The desert metropolis on the River Seine, the Paris Las Vegas. In the Eiffel Tower, there's a gourmet restaurant with a fabulous view over the strip. A section of the facade of the Paris Opera House, in front of which is the square and fountain. Next to it, a magnificent replica of the Arc de Triomphe.
and it's easy to walk under the Eiffel Tower, stroll along Parisian boulevards, or enjoy the delights of authentic French cuisine. Here the city on the Seine has united with the city of Neon and all of its European charm is on full view for all to see. The ambience of Paris is all around. Paris, Las Vegas is always worth a visit. The Mirage was one of Las Vegas's first fantasy resorts, with more than 3,000 rooms. Every 30 minutes a volcano erupts loudly, its lava flowing into the lagoon, and powerful waterfalls cascade down man-made rock walls. The hotel is entered through a perfectly reproduced tropical forest with waterfalls and aquariums. Tropical humidity soon leads to perspiration. For many years, two Germans, Siegfried and Roy, have entertained with their white tigers in the most expensive hotel show. Directly opposite is another theme park, the Venetian, Campanile, Doge's Palace, Rialto Bridge, Grand Canal, and an array of gondolas. It's unnecessary for Americans to travel to Italy because an authentic replica of the Lagoon City exists on the Strip. All around there are examples of wonderful building styles that range from Gothic to Baroque. Even here, their classical magnificence is enchanting. The Venetian is a superlative hotel. Even the casino is decorated in Renaissance style. The rooms are furnished according to Venetian tradition and original paintings adorn the ceilings. Many of the Lagoon City's main sites have been reproduced in precise detail. This perfect illusion immediately casts a spell on all those who see it. Along a shopping street canal, you can even travel by gondola, in which a gondolier serenades with O Solo Mio. Even the Carnival of Venice is performed in authentic fancy dress. A visit to Las Vegas is not complete without a helicopter flight. A steep climb and the sea of flashing neon lights is overwhelming. The helicopter speeds towards the stratosphere tower and encircles it at breathtaking angles. Below us, the enormous gambling city. Endless traffic queues in the most famous street in the world. The Strip. And massive hotel complexes. Only from above can the true dimensions of the landscape below be fully appreciated and the feeling of its pulse. Here, dreams can turn to reality. For every taste, for every inclination, endless fun, 
24 hours a day. The Strip, the city's pleasure mile. The Stratosphere Tower rises 350 meters into the air. It takes only 30 seconds for the elevator to ascend the 108 floors to the highest roller coaster in the world. At Treasure Island Resort, a naval battle takes place several times a day between pirates and the English fleet. Under cannon fire, one of the ships is sunk. Throughout the night, no one could ever be bored here. The city is open all hours. The kitschy designs of the 1960s are eventually replaced by gigantic theme hotels. Perfect illusions and gigantic buildings are as a film set, always reopening and offering more than was offered before. Where all this will lead to, nobody knows. Entertainment knows no limits, especially in Las Vegas. The Valley of Fire, that is located about 90 kilometers northeast of Las Vegas, derived its name from bizarre dark red sandstone rocks formed from both wind and rain. Good footpaths lead through the numerous canyons of the 150 million year old rock formations. While climbing over the huge rock plateaus, images come to mind of the Anasazi Indians who once lived here 800 years ago. Colorful shining rock formations appear. The fascinating scenery of Red Rock Canyon is easily reached from Las Vegas. A perfect scene of the old Wild West in contrast to the glittering world of the nearby city of gambling. panoramic 20-kilometer roadway leads to the best observation points of this 330 square kilometers of nature reserve in the Mojave Desert. Lake Mead a huge artificial lake amidst breathtaking nature. Located in the southwestern region of the United States, the lake is surrounded by the Mojave, Great Basin and Sonora deserts. The land that encircles the lake has been declared a national recreation area. It's home to unique plants as well as a variety of animals. Lake Mead contains 35 billion cubic meters of water. It was created as a result of a dam that was built on the Colorado River. 
With its diverse species of fish, it's extremely popular with fishing enthusiasts. The lake provides many different water sport activities. One of the best ways to experience the lake is on the Desert Princess. The pride of the Lake Mead cruise fleet offers various tours, including a trip to the legendary Hoover Dam. This authentic three-deck Mississippi-style paddle steamer can take up to 300 passengers. Its nostalgic atmosphere takes its passengers back to the times of the Old South. Due to its close proximity to the bustling, gambling paradise of Las Vegas, the reservoir has developed into a popular recreational area for those interested in water sports or just simple relaxation. The construction of the Hoover Dam and the subsequent creation of Lake Mead had already been decided in 1922, nearly 10 years before the dam was actually built. The spacious and well-equipped Desert Princess is the ideal way to travel in style to the most famous of America's dams. On the upper decks of the ship, passengers enjoy the fresh air and the spectacular view of various rock formations, of which some are over 700 million years old. While the captain manoeuvres the boat across the lake, a beautiful panoramic view of the fascinating landscape and mountains unfolds. Powerful paddle steamer churns up the water. Lake Mead covers an area of nearly 770 square kilometers. It's the largest man made body of water in the Western Hemisphere. Prior to its construction, and before digging could commence on the riverbed, the water of the Colorado River was diverted through massive tunnels. The strictly controlled waters of the Colorado River dominate this high plateau. Formerly a strong and wild river, the Colorado has now been tamed by a system of dams. The top of the Hoover Dam which is only 14 meters wide, extends for more than 380 meters. A truly magnificent technical achievement. This world famous dam was built in less than five years and was completed in 1935. Its 201 meter thick concrete base has been designed to contain the enormous water pressure from the lake. Two and a half million cubic meters of concrete were used in its construction.
Several plaques that are set in the concrete base of the dam represent the different states that the USA's third longest river, the Colorado, flows through. The Hoover Dam rises majestically 221 meters above the Black Canyon. The river's water generates the electricity that supplies the glittering world of Las Vegas's casinos, in addition to various parts of Southern California. The visitor center provides detailed information about the dam. The 17 huge turbines of the hydroelectric power station generate a daily average of 1.3 million kilowatts. The complex hazardous building of the Hoover Dam took its toll. Nearly a hundred workmen died during the course of its construction. This gigantic, awe-inspiring dam has been declared an historic national monument. It provides an important and vital supply of electricity to the southwest of the United States. With its length of 177 kilometers, the idyllic Lake Mead is also an essential water supply for the hot desert regions of both Nevada and Arizona. The Zion National Park contains one of the most fascinating canyons that nature has created on the Colorado Plateau. Its unusual variety of rock formations is a remarkable sight. Here the multicolored strata of rocks of the high plateau are clearly visible and the earth's history can be read like a book. Smooth walls of sandstone, slate and limestone tower hundreds of meters into the sky. The Mormons were the first white people to leave their traces here. Thus. Zion Canyon is named after the similar named Temple Mountain in Jerusalem. The Mormons settled in the lower part of this region. Rivers and mountains have also been given biblical names, and so it's hardly surprising to encounter such names as Angel's Landing, the Three Patriarchs, the Sentinel, and the Eastern Temple.
This nature park is among the most popular in the southwest, and several old Indian cultures have made their mark here. Red sandstone dominates this area. Within it are several winding canyons whose tiny rivulets, following heavy rainfall, become torrential rivers. The water sweeps large quantities of rock debris down the steep slopes of the canyon. Footpaths lead beneath a protective roof of overhanging rock. This Navajo sandstone originated in the time of early Jura, on the shores of a dried up ocean. The Zion Canyon was created by the ancient Virgin River whose summer calm gives little hint of how dangerous it can be after heavy rainfall. The Virgin River flows in abundance over the rocks and walls of the canyon. Here the canyon walls form a very narrow valley. The barren mountain terrain indicates the tremendous power of the water. Around 700 meters deep, the river has forced itself into the red rock and water springs flow steadily across rock ledges and steep stone paths into the canyon below. Reno, the biggest little city in the world, is located in the west of Nevada and is a smaller version of Las Vegas. Here, Gambling and entertainment are available both day and night. Hotels and casinos dominate the streets of this lively city that has a population of around 130,000. A number of famous hotel names originated here prior to being copied by Las Vegas in even bolder form. For example, Circus and Flamingos. From having been a boom town during the time of the gold rush, today Reno has become a modern city. Even now, the railroad from San Francisco to Salt Lake City travels across the city. And never-ending freight trains continuously rattle between the hotels and casinos. Today, there is no indication that Reno was once a sleepy hollow in the desert. Keeping with his own reputation, Reno's hotels provide 24-hour entertainment, their motto being, the show must go on. To protect visitors from the heat of the sun, a fully air-conditioned monorail connects a number of the hotels.
Everywhere, the flashing of neon beckons to a casino. The city owes its very existence to the casinos, the owners of which are extremely wealthy. In 1931, the Nevada legislature legalized gambling on the understanding that part of the profits would go towards the city's education system. During the desert night, Everything shines even more brightly and alluringly than during the day. The city's casinos and attractions provide a spectacular display of neon lights that illuminate the sidewalks. Some of the visitors come here due to the relaxed marriage and divorce laws for which Nevada is renowned in this part of the United States. In the casinos, almost all types of gambling are permitted. Some even provide courses that reveal the tricks of the trade, but without any guarantee of success. To cover most contingencies, gambling machines are also sited in petrol stations and laundrettes but unfortunately, the big jackpot can be quite evasive. Those who don't wish to gamble, or whose bank account has become somewhat jaundiced, can seek solace in the many high-quality entertainment shows on offer. Many world-famous stars have begun their climb to fame in Nevada. The majority of the city's hotels not only possess guest rooms and casinos, but also a variety of speciality restaurants and entertainment facilities such as swimming pools and fitness centers. Reno is also world famous as a marriage paradise. As in Las Vegas, the marriage ceremony is undertaken according to the individual requirements of the happy couple. Open 24 hours a day, marriage ceremonies are held from Fridays to Sundays in the efficient confines of the county court.
Of course, this city of gambling is well protected. The security men keep themselves discreetly in the background. The security here is second to none. Whatever one's views on gambling, Reno's glittering atmosphere has a special fascination, especially when the light of the setting sun contrasts with the city's colorful artificial lights. Originally, the casinos bore names reminiscent of the gold rush, such as Nugget and Frontier. But later, more sophistication was called for, and so the names became more imaginative. For those who enter the casinos, there's nothing more exciting than to select a possible winner from one of the countless gambling machines and betting tables. Here, where night turns to day, modesty is by no means a virtue. The gold-digging town in the desert is transformed into a crazy city of dreams. Only two and a half hours by car to the west of Las Vegas is the USA's most recent national park that extends to the opposite side of California's border, Death Valley. Death Valley covers around 10,000 square kilometers. Approximately a fifth of this region is located at sea level or below. Badwater is the name of the lowest point in the Western Hemisphere, 86 meters below sea level. Due to ground temperatures that are sometimes in excess of 90 degrees centigrade, its dried out salt lakes are covered with crystallized salt. The average rainfall each year amounts to around only 33 millimeters. But despite the heat and arid terrain, this desert landscape is extremely beautiful. The Ashford Mill ruins are also a reminder of the gold fever of the 19th century. It was here that thousands of pioneers took a short cut while journeying west.
they eventually arrived in a valley that offered no further way forward. Weakness, hunger and lack of water combined to create the name of this treacherous valley. This diverse color spectrum of stone reveals the ancient sediment of a prehistoric ocean. The panoramic views are of grandiose proportion. As with the Sahara, in the west of Death Valley, Sand dunes extend for nearly 40 square kilometers with temperatures of up to 40 degrees Celsius in the scant shade. Death Valley's landscapes have a variety of dramatic names such as Devil's Cornfield. The dried out salt fields look as though they've been created by the devil himself. Everywhere, supreme desolation, spine tingling, also tranquility and beauty, but menacing. As one of the park's attractions, the Devil's Golf Course is also a typical name. Thousands of tiny columns of salt cover the arid terrain of this desolate area. Many are fascinated by the extraordinary charm of this varied desert landscape with its steep rocks, salt lakes and sand dunes. High above the valley, there are observation points that provide a good all-round view of the incredible scenery, such as Zabriskie Point and Dante's View. Radiant sunbeams transform these arid and eroded formations of sand and stone into magnificent theatrical wings on a huge and natural stage. Death Valley is one of the most legendary extreme landscapes in North America. And the Ubehebe Crater is another notable location.
Nevada is the heart of the West, gateway to a wild and spacious wonderland, a land full of surprises and contradictions. The wild, wild West of Nevada.